So we have here the new Apple Watch 8 in product red, and I think this is pretty slick. Just pops that red, it looks really nice. I really like this. I'm coming from an Apple Watch 7 that I've been using all year, so I'm very excited for some of these new features in this updated version. There's only a few this time, but let's check them out. So the temperature reading feature is one of the new main features in this Apple Watch 8. And even though right now it's mainly geared towards women that will help with menstrual cycle tracking and ovulation predictions, I'm pretty sure Apple will figure out a way to bring temperature sensing to men as well. So eventually we will have a full time temperature reading system for everyone. Or is this just Apple testing the waters for the new Apple Watch 9 that will get the temperature sensing for everyone? But for right now, for women, this is a great feature as I know my wife has had a lot of problems trying to track her cycles through various apps. Doing it all manually, it's very easy to forget and then the whole thing is thrown off. You never end up going back to the app and keeping up with it. So now to have the Apple Watch doing that for you all is going to be a major plus. All the Apple Watches are coming in with a new chip to power everything. One very thoughtful feature is crash detection now, which is going to be very helpful if you've ever been involved in an accident. It's really nice that Apple has started taking all of the safety features now, connecting all the dots, and try and help us out to be the safest we can and to have some cushions when we need it. Other than that, the Apple Watch 8 is very similar to the 7, and if you're not looking for the temperature sensing in the future, maybe try to check out a refurbished 7 or any of the 7s that are just left around before they're all gone. The 8 comes in at the $400 price point, the same price that they always are. My first Apple Watch was a Series 4, and I remember saying I got the 4 for 400 So Apple has a little formula where they keep upgrading the tech. Everything gets better and faster every year, but the price stays the same. For my content creators out there, I love being able to use the watch's camera feature. You strap this thing on the back of your iPhone, and now you've got a nice little monitoring system. You can press record. You can do all this stuff with it. It's nice to be able to take advantage of those outside facing cameras and still being able to see what you're filming. Also really helpful for group photos. And this is just one of the hundreds of niceties that come with wearing the Apple Watch. So I say make your life a little easier. 400 bucks is gonna go a long way if you keep this thing safe and it will last you many years, chip off all these little boulders of stress from your shoulders. And speaking of keeping it safe, one thing I do recommend with all the Apple Watches is a little protection. And we tried out a couple Spigen cases, which is pretty much just like an iPhone case for your watch. It just gives you a little bit of cushion when you accidentally slam it into the counter or doorknob or drop it on the ground on accident. Cracks the screen, it happens way easier than you think. So definitely protect your investment. Check out our review of the Spigen stuff up here for a little more detail. So if some of these new features aren't really what you're looking for, if the color of it doesn't matter to you, check out the SE. You can get a really good deal with that this year. If you do like this pop in product red like I do, unfortunately that only comes with the Apple Watch 8s and 7s, so that's also gonna be something that you're gonna have to pay a little extra for. But like I said, it goes a long way. This is gonna be on your wrist every day for the next year, two years, three years, so get what you really want. But regardless, whatever watch you're gonna choose, whether it be the 8, the SE, the Ultra, you are gonna love it. I can't tell my friends and family enough about how much nicer it is to just have all these notifications, text messages, all that stuff right on your wrist instead of having to pull out the phone, scroll through all these things constantly. I also love that I can just ask the watch to fire off these small little tasks like text messages, turning on the music, whatever. All these little annoyances just melt away when you can just just talk to your watch and tell you know who to do it for you. So I highly recommend everyone check out this Apple Watch 8. I think you will really enjoy stepping into 2023 with this nice watch on your wrist. One last thing folks, I really need your help on this. If you can please subscribe and join the channel. I'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers and your click means so much to me. Just that one little thing gives me so much joy when I wake up and see that I've gained a few more subscribers. So thank you very much for the help with that. I hope to see you at the next one. Thank you for watching and take care.